everyone, my name is Tom Go and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial. If you're on Java, this won't work. So, so don't even try it. Today I'm showing you how to make a very basic, very simple 3x3 flying machine elevator. So, with the press of a button, we make our way downwards. As you can see, a 3x3 hole appears out of the ground and we go down. And then of course, once we've reached our Tomco's secret base over here, I'm assuming you'll have valuables or for me, le baguette. But when we're done here, we all have to do is get back on our platform Hit the button once again, and we will make our way upwards. There's nothing really to this. It's pretty straightforward. So to build it, this is everything you're going to need. Bear in mind, these glazed terracotta blocks, they can be obsidian or shulker boxes or anything that doesn't stick to slime or honey blocks. But these three obsidian blocks, they do have to be obsidian or an immovable object. I do also recommend using more building blocks. A stack is what I recommend, but of course, if you're decorating it, you're bound to need more. So the space you're going to have to dig out for this are six blocks long, six blocks wide, and then underneath your first platform here, you'll need a seven block gap in between. I made it quite simple for all of you to understand. This is where your first floor is going to be, and this is where your second floor is going to be. This floor can be literally anywhere. It could all be all the way at Sky Limit if you wanted to, or all the way down here. Oh, and if you haven't already, join my Discord and also subscribe to my main YouTube channel. Look at me self-remoting for once. Alright, so to start off, we're going to be placing four pieces of rest and us along here. One, two, three, and four. This is going to be the line which is going to activate your flying machine to go all the way up there. I guess it's not that far, actually. You don't want to place a block to the left over here. Redstone dust. Glass to the side. Dust. Glass. Dust. Glass. Dust. Glass. Dust. Glass. And dust. Then get yourself a decoration block, place it on top of here with one of your buttons on top, just like that. Bear in mind, this line can be linked to any sort of input, it does not just have to be a button here. This is just easier. Then we'll come back round to this three rest on this over here, place observers facing upwards on all of them, come round to this side and place in your only three of obsidian, just like that. You then want to come back up here, and what you want to do is actually destroy these three blocks, move them back, just like that. You then want to get your nine glazed terracotta out, and you want to place in three over here, three over here, and then three over here, just like that. So now if I look down from the top, it looks something like this. And if you want this to look the best, I do recommend using shulker boxes. In my opinion, they are the best non-sticky block in the entirety of Minecraft Bedrock. Just my opinion though, you can have a different one. But <laughs> this colour combination does not match. You have to get your slime and honey blocks out. So to start off, you want to place in a shape just along the lines of that. You want to get yourself a regular piston, come down, place a regular piston facing downwards just like that. You then place an observer on top of that. So it's going up and into this honey with a sticky piston just on top of that. You then also want to place a sticky piston facing downwards just there. So, so far, it looks something like that. You then want to get your slime blocks out and you want to place in three and then two to the right, and you want to place an observer facing downwards here, a sticky piston, an observer going into that block, just like that. So this is what it looks like. And you then want to get yourself the blocks you're using for the elevator and place it just like this. And now you can press this button and see if your flying machine works. If this doesn't work, double check you built everything in the exact same place as it should. And it also should stop just like that, which I find very, very cool. And then what you want to do is you want to place a block here, a block here, and destroy this block just like that. You then want to find a way to send this flying machine back down, and one way to do this is quickly destroy and replace that block, and your flying machine should make it all the way back down to the bottom, and stop. Fingers crossed. Hey, there we go. Now where you have this iron block, you want to place in three more iron blocks just to the left, and then one under this, and destroy that iron block. Get your rest on dust back. You're going to place in three here. One just blow it. A sticky piston facing downwards on this corner block. With an observer in front of it. And then go ahead and place your button just on top of that. This is going to be your input for the top floor. So you have any hidden entrances or stuff like that. You need to link it up into this sticky piston here. So now we can also press this button. The flying machine go up. And then when we press this. It should go down. If this isn't working for you, make sure you double check you've got everything in place and if it still isn't working, let me know in the comments. So now we can go ahead and make our two other flying machines. Now what you want to make sure is that the honey and slime are never ever next to each other. So we're then going to be using slime for this bit. 
and honey for this bit. Just like that. You can then go ahead, your piston, your observer, nope, not like that. Your sticky piston facing downwards, your sticky piston facing upwards, your observer, your sticky piston, your observer going into this block, and then to another row of your flying machine block. What you should realize is this is exactly the same thing, but the slime and honey has been alternated around. And then finally, you want to do the exact same thing, but you alternate it again. So you want to put honey here, your slime here, sticky piston facing upwards, regular piston facing downwards, observer, sticky piston, observer, sticky piston, nope, not like that, <laughs> sticky piston, observer, and then your three blocks just like this. And now we test it. So go ahead and press your button. Everything should be moving up exactly like this. If something's not working because the flying machine get misaligned, I'd also make sure you make a copy before you do this. As if it breaks, you'll have to redo all of these flying machines, which is very, very annoying. But mine made it at the top, which is great. And we can send it back down just with the press of the button like this. Look at it go. Now, if you want this thing to go through a tunnel, I recommend you make the tunnel one block bigger than the actual flying machine itself. So do not have walls here. And if you do, they have to be glazed terracotta. But if you don't want it to go through a tunnel and you don't want to use glazed terracotta, you can just make a wall around this thing here. So you can see your tunnel will be this big or if you're using terracotta, you could make your tunnel this big. You will still have to leave room for these observers as of course they go up with you. Anyways, that is tutorial done. Any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. But that's all from me, and I will see you all later. Bye.